climactic box, turning climatic issues into possibilities towards immediate and future intensification and development of Luleå city center. The climactic box deals with one of the very basic issues addressed in all kinds of urban design, the climate, the climatic factor. The climactic box transforms climatic barriers into possibilities towards immediate as well as future development of Luleå city. The urban design framework of the climactic box aims to solve fundamental issues due to the historical footprints of Luleå city center. The fundamental design principle is to break the grid by simple modifications of the urban morphology. Solutions at a macro scale, an urban morphological scale, generates benefits to the micro scale, the zone within the city center. The fundamental design principle of the climatic box is to break the winds and thereby generate a more comfortable environment within the city center. A more comfortable climate is the first step towards any kind of intensification or development of the city center. The suburban development of Luleå results in a need for intensification and development of the city center. But there is one main issue towards an intensified core and that is the climatic barriers due to the grid structure which is inappropriate to the site. The fundamental design strategy is therefore to break the grid and thereby eliminate wind tunnels to generate a comfortable climatic zone within the city center, a climactic box that embraces the core. This new climatic urban pattern, this climactic box pattern, creates opportunities for immediate as well as future development and intensification of Luleå city center. The fundamental idea of the concept is to break the winds, mainly in the southern harbour, and thereby create an opportunity to catch the views, the stunning views, at the northern harbour. Working with solutions on a large scale would generate benefits to the, to the micro scale, to the insumed site, not only because of the more comfortable climate, but also because of the opportunity to catch the views. Breaking the winds will generate a better climate and therefore an extended movement pattern. This extension is in alignment with Storgatan, but also in a perpendicular direction towards Smedjugatan and Kungsgatan. So basically, modifications of the edges of the city will generate benefits for the core of the city. Macro benefits micro. The climactic box is the first step towards any kind of intensification and development of the city core. Over time though, the climactic box can be extended to capture the whole city. That will lead to future development of sites in all the directions of the extended movement. In the 18th century, the grid was laid out at the peninsula of Luleå and by that time the economical profit, the distribution of the land and the wind tunnels from the southern to the northern harbour can summarise why the grid was chosen to the site. Today this point of view has changed. The grid is a result of the past, a historical footprint which needs to be rethought and redesigned in order to suit the site and thereby benefit the inhabitants. The introduction of the railway to Luleå led to a rapid growth of the city and generated a very strong street pattern. Some of those streets, in particular the Southern Link or Södra Lenken, next to the Southern Harbour, can today be considered one of the biggest issues to deal with in order to connect the Southern Harbour to the city core. Since Luleå city is a peninsula, the wind speed in and also around the city centre are mostly above average when compared to other cities. These winds are led through the built environment from the south to the north harbour. 
The main street in Luleå, Storgatan, is located in a perpendicular direction to the wind tunnels. This means that the main street, this main street, and its cross streets are directly affected by the windy and very unpleasant climate. Talking to people in Luleå, it become very obvious that these cross sections are actually very windy and therefore become critical points in terms of public life. The crossing on Storgatan and Smedigatan is way too windy. And Luleå South Harbour is cold, windy and dull. Too much industry. Another interesting point from the survey is that people use malls for passing through, socializing and waiting for the bus, not only for shopping. The conclusion from this is that there is a need for a more comfortable climate within the city core. The urban morphology of the existing Luleå, Luleå today, could be divided into five main patterns. The first one, the land use pattern, clearly illustrates that the commercial parts of the city are located at the very heart of the city, at the center of the city. Speaking about building heights, the number of stories are quite limited within the city core, with no more than four or five stories, with some exceptions. The barrier pattern clearly communicates the barriers and issues of Luleå today. The blue marked lines illustrate those great wind tunnels. The red marked lines will illustrate infrastructure barriers and at the bottom of the picture, the southern link, södra länken, is marked out as a huge barrier to deal with in order to connect the southern harbour with the rest of the city centre. The red marked dots in this diagram illustrates important key points or actually zones where human activity clashes or conflict with these huge barriers. In order to extend Storgatan and uh, enhance the public life of this area, it is of huge importance to actually deal with these points. Directly connected to those key points or key zones are the pattern of main human activity. Today, the pattern of human activity is limited between the key points. In order to achieve an intensification of the city core, it is of huge importance to deal with those key zones. A pyre will be placed at the extension of Smedigatan and thereby attract people from the northern harbour towards the southern harbour. Also, at the end of Smedigatan, the commercial centre for this new area will be located. Along with the waterfront facing the water, some taller buildings will be placed with uh, the function to block the winds. To further improve the connectivity between the site and the existing city, the main road, the southern link, is transformed into a street. The principle here is to transform this five lane wide road into a more pedestrian friendly street. The new climatic pattern, the Climb Arctic Box, offering opportunities to intensifying the city centre by offering a more comfortable climatic zone within the city centre. The proposed urban design framework includes a completely new pattern, a new climatic dimension, the climatic pattern. The proposal includes development of a part of the southern harbour. The urban structure of this new mixed-used area aims to break the winds by the irregular placement of buildings along the waterfront. An extension of the grid generates a sense of belonging between the site and the existing city centre. The building heights of the area will mirror the rest of Luleå with no more than four or five storeys. The exception is the wall along the waterfront with taller buildings up to seven or even eight storeys. 
Breaking the Winds Mainly at the Southern Harbor by Taller Buildings generates the opportunity to have lower buildings at the Northern Harbor and thereby capture the stunning venues. This design principle is directly connected to the in-zoom site, to the key site. Improvements in terms of climate at a macro scale is directly connected to the micro scale and the opportunity to capture the venues from the key site, from the in-zoom site. The previous pattern of barriers have now turned into a pattern of movement. Thanks to elimination of wind tunnels and also infrastructure barriers, especially the Southern Link or Södra Lenken, have now generated an extended movement pattern. The important key points described before have been dealt with by offering more comfortable climate in the area. In addition to the extended movement pattern of uh, Storgatan, a perpendicular movement pattern have also been extended. The developed area in the southern harbour is clearly connected to the city centre and to the key site, to the in zoom site. Also, the ice roads, those very important public spaces, have been redesigned to directly connect to Kulturens Hus and uh, Smedjegatan and thereby generate a circular movement through Smedjegatan and uh, between the southern and the northern harbour. As a result of the improved movement pattern, the pattern of human activity has also been extended. The last but absolutely important pattern is the climatic pattern. This illustrates how changes and modifications of the urban morphology at the very large scale generates benefits for the smaller, inzoomed scale. Leaving the macro scale and zooming in to the micro scale, we end up in the very heart of the city. The inzoomed site include some leftover spaces of Köpmans torget and the site behind the new sky bar. In uh, interviews, people, especially students, expressed the need for an improved interaction between the university and the city. A very important fact to take into consideration uh, is the usage of the malls. People use the malls not only for shopping but also as passages or just places for hanging out during bad or cold weather. This generates a kind of invisible movement pattern. During daytime, when the malls are open, people can move freely through the malls and on the street. The proposal for the Inzoom site includes a new market hall, a new exhibition hall and reuse of the old Ebenezer church. The old church will become a campus for architecture students at LTU. The new exhibition centre is built aiming to integrate different actors involved in the development and planning process of the city. This is a place for everyone for the municipality, for the university, for architects or other people interested in the development of the city. The basic principle here is to create a path from the market hall towards the new exhibition hall and further down towards the house of culture and the ice roads. Part of this new cultural path will function as a new academic quarter tying together the House of Science, the School of Architecture, the new Exhibition Hall and the House of Culture. The new pedestrian pattern will be applied to the existing one and thereby improve the overall movement pattern of the city core. Heading down to a street view, we can see a new square, a new public space being created just next to the exhibition hall. 
through the facades, people can enjoy current exhibitions regarding development of Luleå city center. We continue our route through the path and we end up in the opposite direction in a cold, dark but very cozy winter night. To the left we can see the entrance to the new school of architecture and in front of us we see the exhibition hall that lights up the sky. But what really captures our attention are the spotlights in the street. They generate excitement and brings us forward, not only through the street, but maybe also towards a bright future of Luleå city centre.